us all alone. Uh, tell me, Professor Barkov, have you considered the latest implications of your quantity theory? No, my dear. For the moment, I was considering yes? whether I would take dill pickle or mango chutney for my hammer rub. Never believe a word I say. You're always teasing, Professor. You know it's a great mistake. We girls always like to be taken seriously. Every government has its Secret Service branch. America, CIA, France, Desiem Bureau, England, MI5. NATO also has its own. A messy job, well, that's when they usually call on me or someone like me. Oh, yes, my name is Drake, John Drake. It was a cold, windy morning, it would be. My orders were to sit at the corner table of a certain cafe at 6.15, precisely. I was supposed to be reading a copy of Ici Paris while I awaited the arrival of the inevitable mysterious stranger. <laughs> These security boys must sit up nights working out the cloak and dagger stuff. You know, they even had a password for this job. Question, coffee and eggs for two. Answer, why not scrambled? Believe it or not. Good morning, sir. Oh, good morning. Uh... Coffee and eggs for two? For two, sir. For two. Sir. Wrong guy. Morning, Drake. Mind if I join you? Oh, no. Good morning. Uh, please sit down. Uh, what do we have for breakfast? Coffee and eggs for two? Uh, why not make it scrambled? <laughs> it worked. What can I do for you? You read the morning's papers? Oh, well, I was just about to. Professor Barkov's been murdered. I, um, I thought that his country had forgiven him for deserting them. This country, yes, but not their secret police. And then it was ABO. Hmm, probably without their government's consent. These boys aren't too fussy about political trends. They're cynics. They figure yesterday's enemies are probably tomorrow's enemies. How was he killed? He was shot. Tell me, does the name Hans Vogler mean anything to you? Oh, yeah, it does indeed. He's their number one executioner, isn't he? It was him? Yeah. Now, listen, Drake, so far this man's confined his activities to Europe. Three killings here in France, one in England, two in Germany, and now yesterday this one in the States. Oh, it was him, all right. He was identified, but he got away. He always manages to slip across his own front here before we can get our hands on him. He's cunning, sadistic. We want him, Drake. We've got to get him out. We? You. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought you meant. Now, look, we found out quite a lot about this guy. For instance, he has a passion for hunting. When he's not hunting human beings, he's after big game. Yeah, so I've heard. We discovered last night exactly where he'll be two days from today. It's the opening day of a big bear hunt. And on that day, every year, He's in a hunting lodge just over the Austrian border. Why don't you have in mind, Colonel? Look, I don't care how you do it, Drake, but this guy's got to be eliminated. I'm sorry, Colonel, that's not me you want. What you want is a hired assassin. Have you ever met Professor Barker? No, I have not met Professor. Telescopic sights and a silencer. The old man never had a chance. You leave Vogler alive and this sort of thing's gonna go on happening. Colonel. I'll take your assignment, but I won't do your dirty work for you. I'll bring him out alive, if I possibly can. You'll well, suit yourself. It amounts to the same thing. They'll execute him here. That's not my business. You'll have your instructions by tonight. Good luck. Thank you very much indeed. Well, that's you. Don't you want your breakfast, sir? Oh, no, thank you very much. I've lost my appetite. Bye. I gave you a shot. Oh, that's all right. I'll get over it. <laughs> Are you going on this trip? Uh, yes, that was my intention. Oh, I've looked forward to this holiday for ages. Isn't it wonderful how these countries are raising their frontiers once more? Yes. You know, 
If people traveled more, there would be less enmity in the world. For they would soon see that other countries are as um, democratic as their own. Oh, yes, it should all prove to be very educational. Now, where do you come from? The States. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I come from Sweden. My name is Lisa Orange. Oh, I'm delighted to meet you, Miss Orange. Good afternoon. You are together? Uh, no. Your papers, please. Uh, excuse me. Richard Morton. You are a school teacher? Yes. You understand the conditions governing your tour of our country. You must keep to the prescribed route, stay only at state registered hotels. You must obey all security signs, stop at all checkpoints, carry your papers at all times, and be prepared to submit to military and police inspections. I wish you a pleasant visit to our country. I'm obliged. Oh, you are a school teacher? Yes. Yeah. I am also in Sweden. Oh, really? I teach English. What do you teach? Uh, Sanskrit, Third Dynasty. No. Oh, yes, and, and obscure languages. Oh. Are you joking? Yes, I'm joking. Oh. <laughs> this way, please. Passport. Oh. Well, maybe we meet on the road. Yes, maybe. Bye. <laughs> Entering a restricted area. It's forbidden to stop or park your car. You understand? Yes, I do, yes. You're very lucky. It is less than a minute to curfew. Curfew? Oh. This road is closed to all traffic after four o'clock. Oh, I see. Yeah. Your papers, please. Pardon? Your papers. Oh, it's stupid of me. Yes, of course. My passport. I'm, I'm always forgetting these things. I'm always mislaying things. My memory, you know. Oh, wait a minute. I'm happy to my case here. Oh, yeah, let's see now. Yeah, there you are. I told you I had it somewhere.
Miss Oren. How did you manage to get past the checkpoint after curfew? I just made it. But you were late, weren't you? Mm, just a couple of seconds, but um, they'll let me through. You, uh, you can't stop here, you know. Oh, yes, I know, but as a matter of fact, my engine's gone dead. Never mind, I'll get it fixed in a couple oh, of well, minutes. Oh, well, um, maybe I can help. Oh, no, thanks, I can manage. If you want me to try to start... Uh, no, oh, thank you very much, I can manage. I wouldn't dream of detaining you, Miss Oren. Excuse me, please. That's I am in no hurry. Besides, I know about engines. Oh, very fortunate. Now, you see, if it is the ignition, then the coil will be burned. Uh, no. Out, or the car will just choke. No, please. Or the distributor. Uh, no, thank you very much, Miss Oren. There's absolutely no need for you to stay, I assure you. But I can't leave you stranded here. No, I am not stranded. If I can get a few minutes to myself, I'll get the thing started and be on my way. Oh, well, I will wait, just to make sure. Then, if you can't get the car to go, shall I drive you to the next checkpoint? Then we can ask them to uh, send a truck to tow you in. Uh, it's very good of you, Miss Oren, to be so concerned about my welfare. But as a matter of fact, there's absolutely nothing you can do. Oh, he will help you. Hey. Hey. You see, it won't stop. Oh, well, that's extraordinary. A moment ago, it would, it just wouldn't, wouldn't go. I tried uh, the carburet distributor head in the car. I tried to do it, but it. Is this yours? <laughs> too soon, but it'll take him half an hour to get to the checkpoint. Now, come on. No, I'm not going anywhere with Listen, you. Listen, Miss Oren, I've got a job to do. If you get in my way, I'll have to force you, and I don't want to have to do that. And who are you? This is a job of international importance. I've got half an hour to get it done. Now, come on. Oh, the key. The key? He threw the key away, Miss Oren. Now, that wrist is going to hurt. Give me a hand. Come on. I'm sorry. <laughs> I can't go any further. You don't have to. We're there. What is this place? It's a hunting lodge. We're going down to take a look. Don't make a sound.
to wait. Let's hope it won't be for long. Robert, what are we waiting for? How's your wrist? No, it's... It's all right. Sorry I frightened you. Well, I'm only frightened because I don't understand what is happening. It's all quiet. Cigarette? Oh, thank you. Why are you here? What are you doing? I might ask you the same question, Miss Oren. Why are you here? What are you doing here? Oh, I'm just a visitor. This is my holiday. I heard you speaking to the patrolman. For a visitor, you speak the language very well. I've spent two years learning it. It's a little unusual, isn't it? Why? For a Swedish girl to want to speak the language of this country. I have reasons. Oh? You said you were a school teacher, didn't you, Miss Oren? Yes, I am a school teacher. Why are you asking me these questions? Oh, I said that I was a school teacher, but I'm not. Just exactly what are you, Miss Oren? What do you mean, what am I? You stopped your car when you saw mine. That wasn't necessary. I thought you were in trouble. I just wanted to help. Uh-huh. You called the patrolman. Well, I only wanted to help. Do you always travel alone, Miss Oren? Yes, I do. Why? Isn't it usual for people to go on holidays with their friends or their relatives? Or perhaps you haven't got anybody you want to travel with? You're right. Not since my husband died. I'm sorry. It's all right. It was some time ago. Some years now. He died not far from this place. Here? Yeah. In this country? Hmm? He was a journalist. It was at the time of the revolution. And uh, this is uh, some sort of a pilgrimage? Anyway, yes. Yeah. Since then, I have taught children. I have none of my own, and I love them. I teach them that men are good, that violence is wicked. And I also teach them not to distrust their fellows. You are going to kill someone. His name is Vogler. Hans Vogler. And you are going to murder him? That was not my intention. My intention was to get him out of the country. You are going to murder him. Miss Oren, you teach your children to live in peace. But there are some men who thrive on hate, Miss Oren. They make a profession out of war. They aren't many, but they're dangerous and they have to be stopped. Hans Vogler is a professional assassin.
Hamlet Township, Mitchell. You shot. Put it down. You can't. There isn't a cartridge in the place. You sure of that? You never give us time to unload them. They're still in the plane. You want to bet on that, Mr. Vogler? It's a pretty good bet. Now, you put down the gun. Why did you come back? Where else could I go? Anyway, I'm obliged. A few more minutes. We'll be out of danger. When I got home, I, uh, I checked up on Miss Lisa Oren. Do you know what? She was a school teacher. Thank <laughs> you. 